Welcome to session 229. Today we are going to be working with logarithms. Logarithms is another type of function and it says that y equals the log of a x. It's log of x to the base a is how it's really, really uh, pronounced. Log of x with a base of a. There are some conditions. A cannot equal 1, x has to be greater than 0, and a has to be greater than 0. You'll find this in a special box on page 497. Page 497. And you probably need to <clears throat> check out that box and make sure that you know it and that you can read it. Okay, there are two different types of forms. Exponential form, where it says x equals 2 to the y. The logarith uh, logarithmic form is y equals log of x with the base 2. If you know those, then you can write in either form. You can change forms, such as 5 to the 6 equal 1,000, uh, excuse me, 15,625 can also be read 6 equals the log of 15,625 with the base of 5. They're interchangeable. I can write this this way or in logarithm form. So let's see if I can write this one in logarithm form. Okay, the exponent is right here. So that's 3 equals the log of the base is 5. The base of my exponent is 7 and 343. So if I want to write it in log form, just follow the pattern. The exponent is equal to the log base, the base of your exponent, equals your number. So let's try again. So in this one, I'm going to say what? The exponent, negative 2, equals log of base 7, I mean, this base 7 is the base, so that's 1 fourth e of 16, the log of 16 to the 1 fourth. Okay. It's easy to change, just follow the pattern. Follow the pattern. I can go about it the other way too. The log of 4096 of base 4 is 6. So what does that tell me? Here, that's my base. 4 to the 6th power equals 4096. Let's see if we can do it with another problem. Okay, right here. What do I know? One fourth is going to be my base. Now what? One fourth to the what power? Eight power equals one over sixty five thousand five hundred thirty six. If you check that out on the calculator, that's true. 4 to the 8th power is this. So 1 fourth, 1 to the 8th power is 1. So that's what you would get. 4 to the 8th power is 65,536. Let's try another one. Okay, let's 
say um, the base is 5. 5 to the 4th power equals 625. Is that correct? Try 5 to the 4th power. 5 times 5 is 25 times 5 is 125 times 5 is 625. Okay. Now, the next part, evaluate. Well, that means I have to find an answer. I can't just rewrite it. That's what we've been doing before in the other examples is rewriting. Now I want to evaluate. That means I have to tell an answer. So here, what does this say? This says four to the, I don't know, whatever letter you want, four to the x power equals one, zero, two, four. Now I have to change this to four to some power. How can you do that? Do four times four times four times four until you come out with 1024. And you should come out with four to the x equals four to the uh, fifth power. So therefore, x is five. If I wanted to add something here, I would put equal to 5. 4 to the fifth power is 1,024. Now, can I do that with the next one? The log of 5, base 5, of 100, 1 over 125. Let's rewrite that in exponential form. So that's 5 to the x power equals 1 over 125. Ooh. I know that 5 to the third is 125. But how do I get it to 1 over 125? To the negative exponent. So 5 to the negative 3 would equal to 1 over 125. So x is going to be negative 3. That's how you get the fraction out of it. Fairly easy lesson with an introduction to logarithms. So really what we're doing is taking it from logarithm form to exponential form or exponential form to logarithm form. Okay, You can see this all on page 497. This is just another type of function that we have in algebra. Any questions? Call me. Okay. Otherwise, have a great day.